locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Third and long, it's Newton. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A good pick up there, a 22. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pinches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Newton now on second down. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's right. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second down, here's Newton. Flushed out right. And Olsen over the middle. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 70th catch for him on the year. And like so many others, this goes for a first down. Smiles, everyone. Smiles because when Cam Newton and Greg Olsen hook up like they've been doing throughout this game, that's one big reason why they're winning. What makes Greg Olsen so tough to cover? I think he really is a wide receiver in a tight end's body. He runs his routes with such great precision and some physical toughness, and he really fights and competes for the ball. And then, of course, it has Cam Newton throwing it to you. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. He'll get it up the middle. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive, but they'll be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Man, it's a tough area in the field to try and run a draw play out of the gun. You know you're going to face a good push up front, and here they swallow him up for no gain. The crowd here in the dome making things difficult. Third and goal. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. Now Newton on third and goal. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Eli Harold in there to drop him for a six-yard loss. And that'll lead to a fourth down. Third and goal they decided to throw for. But how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. Now Newton. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. Cam Newton, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers add on to their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch.